Hi folks, hope you're doing well today. You know, farming comes into West Asia very early on, but the farmers that arrived there first were most likely Natufian in origin. You want to know what Natufian is? Natufian is mostly Basal Eurasian, and Basal Eurasian refers to the first wave of humans who left Africa. So at their very basis and origin point, they likely originated in the Levant. I think this is the chronology of how admixture happens in Mesopotamia, for instance. It's first Natufian, and it makes sense geographically. There isn't any geographical boundaries in farmlands to restrict gene flow. Following the Natufians, you've got the Zagrosian Neolithic genomic inputs, and then you've got a subsequent wave of Anatolian Neolithic ancestry coming in. And Natufian is from the Levant. Based on all the sites we know of, the Levant is the most likely origin point of the Natufian farmers. One other thing, the oldest Neanderthal fossils found in the region were found in Iraq. So this is the thing, guys. When we analyze these Neolithic populations, that doesn't mean that Mesopotamia, for instance, was empty before. Go to the Shanadar Cave in Iraq. There was like a 50,000-year-old Neanderthal fossil found in that region. So the early West Asian farmers were not the first people there. We just happen to have the first DNA samples that we have to be able to retell a semi-decent migratory path from those guys. Humans have existed in the Middle East for 100,000 years. Humans left Africa 100,000 years ago. They mixed with Neanderthals. A lot of this mixing takes place in the modern country of Iraq because that's where some of the oldest Neanderthal fossils are found. And this is where I end my dissertation. Thank you for watching.